Morning, guys. Let's do it. Come on, Monday morning. Let's go. Daddy have it number two. Habit number five, where I show you guys the quote of the day. And finish it off my last habit with a nice made bed. That's uh, six habits in 15 minutes, and it's only 4.45. You know what time it is? It is coffee time. Yeah, buddy. Pro tip. One of the only good things that actually works is creatine. Okay, that's one of the things I'll take every day from now on. I just love this whole process of brewing my own coffee. It is so cool. Pro tip. Once a month, always do your measurements. Your waist, your hips, your legs, everything. So first thing you want to do is weigh yourself in your jocks, all right? Jocks and socks, whatever. So 66.6, ooh. Number two, do your waist measurements, all right? So waist first. What have I got here? 77, 76. The next thing that comes is your hips measurements, okay? So hips, make sure they go around the widest part. Next up is legs. So making sure you do the center of your legs, all right? After you've done your thighs, then you do your calf muscles. You also measure your calves from about the center too. So as you can see, it's about the center. Then it's on the biceps. You can do them flexed or you can do them straight. It's up to you. I like to do mine straight and flexed. Now the only one that can be hard is trying to measure your shoulders by yourself because it's hard to be able to see. Chest measurements go around the nipples, all right? And then tuck it on the side. You can also do neck measurements if you want to do neck. It's up to you. And forearms is another one you can do also. And then comes the truth. You do photos on the front, on the side, on the back, and everything else you want to do. So the measurement tape that I use is myo tape because I can do it all myself. However, if you just get a normal measuring tape and get somebody else to do it, it's fine. So if you guys got any questions about measurements, about weight, about any of that stuff, how to record it, send me a snap back and I'll help you out. Time to build up the chest. What are you guys training today? Boom, finished right on time. Always make sure to set yourself a time limit when you're working out to keep the intensity high and to make sure you stay focused. Another good idea is to get yourself a, comp a composition book and track your workouts every single time. Okay, so I've been fasting for about 16 hours now. I'm going to break it with some oysters, right? Yeah, it sounds terrible, but I love them. Now, when it comes to oysters, though, they're high in protein, right? So what I, that's actually what I want to talk to you guys about today is foods high in protein and how much can you consume at a time. You know, you you have to eat only 30 grams of protein per serving to make sure you're absorbing it and you can't have any more than that, otherwise the body wastes it. However, it's not always the case, right? Because you can't always eat six meals a day. So how did our ancestors used to gain muscle if they couldn't eat six meals a day? 
so what I did was do a deep dive video on this and you guys can see it on my blog or you can see it on my YouTube video. I'm going to uh, put it on the next one so you can Snapchat it. So you guys can either watch it on my blog at tysonbrown.com.au or search YouTube for Tyson Brown PT.